For more than four decades, Victoria Hospice has been providing compassionate end-of-life care in our community. And it wouldn't be possible without fundraisers like the annual Hike for Hospice taking place next weekend. Here's Tess. Dan Salmon knows how hard it is to lose someone you love. It was tough on, on the whole family and we've all kind of keep it going and keep her, keep her alive in, in all of us. Dan's mom was only 44 years old when she died. Dan was just 22 and Victoria Hospice was a big source of support in her final days. Hospice has been huge in my life for God, 30 years. My, my mom went through it when she was in her 40s and when she passed away. Uh, my best friend Brody uh, passed away five years ago and recently our friend Gary Robertson just passed away. Dan will be walking in their memory at this year's Hike for Hospice fundraiser. The family and dog friendly event is taking place at Clover Point May 5th. Hike for Hospice is a wonderful opportunity to come out and join the community in support of hospice care. Um, it's a great opportunity to bring friends and family out in, and remember someone that you've lost and that you hold in your heart. The annual event is an important fundraiser for Victoria Hospice, the nonprofit which helps around a thousand people each year with compassionate end of life care, relies on community donations to cover almost half of its operating budget and programs. Each year we have to raise over four million dollars and that money goes towards um, everything from special equipment on our inpatient unit to special programs like music therapy, gas that goes in our palliative response vehicle that helps uh, people who are dying at home as well as all our bereavement services for family. This is completely covered by um, community donations so we really couldn't do what we do without the support of the community. Dan's team set a new fundraising record at last year's Hike for Hospice, and he's hoping to beat that this year. People have helped me out over the years to get to where I've gotten to in life, and if you can give a little back, that's always great too. It's just an invaluable service. You know, in, in my role at hospice, I'm very, very uh, fortunate and grateful to talk with so many family members, and they're just so thankful um, and grateful for that care. Dan's just grateful he's now able to give back to hospice. As I got older, as I got to be the same age she was when she passed, it, everything from here seems like a bonus, like things she never got. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.